So Jimmy Cor Jimmy Dore is your king? <laughs> Hold on, this is the guy? This is the guy we've been talking about forever? This, this, this is what you want to go down for in history? This is the point you're trying to make about the critique on the Democratic Party? This is... This is... Where's the meat? This is your gang? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Let, let's talk about it then. This is your king then. Jimmy Dore constantly made inappropriate comments about how sexy he felt Anna Casper in at work. What's incredible on top of everything else is what Jimmy Dore is saying about his audience here. He thinks if he outs himself with sexual harassment, his audience will like them more. Think about that if you call yourself his fan. She, she did this to me. She sent this a DM to me last night. The last DM she sent me was April 14, 2016. Watching <laughs> you guys kick ass right now. That was her last DM to me. But here's, what she, here's how she's trying to threaten me. And I'll tell you why this is a big mistake on her part. She says, I'm sure you remember when you constantly made inappropriate comments about how sexy you found me at work. And even felt the need to ask me where I shop for my jeans so you can buy a pair for your wife so she dresses better. Thank you. Uh, that was followed by an apology card you wrote me for the degrading harassment. I've been holding back, letting you run your mouth nonstop as if you're some sort of warrior for what's good in the world. That's going to change. So now she's... Instead of saying I'm paid by the Russians or saying I'm working for Assad, she's now going to try to pretend I sexually harassed her when I was at the Young Turks. So I remember, uh, I remember she's re re what she's, re uh, I did ask her about, I want to buy a pair of jeans like that for my wife. Apparently that's offensive. You know, if you're watching the stream right now and you've watched or you know me personally, you know why that just stung for me. But if you don't, if you don't, that, there is a difference. That, that is the situation that that person thought was happening. When in fact, it quite literally wasn't by their own admission. God fucking damn it, yo. I can't believe I stood over that for so many years to then see a situation and be like, it wasn't that. That's real. What you're talking, wow. To her. I don't know if you ever watched The Young Turks, but all they talk about uh, in the second hour when I used to be there was the most outrageous sex stories in the world. Oh, so he's admit. Wow. Wow. The story, the story about uh, uh, that was followed by an apology card you wrote me for a degrading harassment. Uh, Anna Kasparian used to dress when I worked there uh, unbelievably inappropriately for a newsroom. <laughs> she looked like she was going to a rave. The skirt, one time she came into the... All right, it doesn't matter what women wear, you do not discriminate against them. You do not make sexual uh, comments towards them. Like, this is obvious. This is obvious. There's a difference between, hey, your outfit's really cool, and like, damn, your ass is really fat in them jeans. Like, you see what I mean? Oh, I was looking at her skirt. I was sexualizing her. Like, a newsroom with a skirt so short. It wasn't a pencil skirt. It was like a fluffy one, too, but so short that she bent over in front of me, and I literally saw her ass. Call me Predict Champ Andy. Call me Predict Champ Andy. Yeah, this is your guy. This is the king of the party. This is your man's. You're happy to be a part of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is your man's. This is for sure your man's. For sure your man's. I mean, come on. 
and her thong. She's wearing a thong. I literally saw it. Everybody saw it. And I go, hey, Anna, nice new skirt. <laughs> and everybody laughed. Like they laughed louder than I thought they would. And so it humiliated her. She got... To go back to a segment that you probably already watched because it went up before this one. <laughs> I humiliated her in front of everybody. Yo, humiliation is a form of harassment, you dickhead. I got humiliated in the middle of the newsroom, and I did it. And I felt bad. I, I, at that time, we were friendly. And I was just busting her balls, right? I've been to weddings where people bust my balls and I didn't feel harassed by it because the intent was for, for dressing. You like feel me? Is this, is this clear for everybody? Is this making sense? You feel me? Like that in the newsroom. <laughs> You're going to bend over and show me your ass. I think that's a little, I'm not offended, but I think that's a little risque. Um, imagine if did she show you her ass because she wanted to? Or, like any man, you probably looked even though you weren't invited to look. Then you commented on it because you were looking. If I did that, if I walked around <laughs> showing my ass to everybody. So, uh, when she did, so when I did that, so she got really mad. She got, you know, she got uh, humiliated. Her face turned red. She tried to insult me back, and it just fell flat, and she looked, you know, bad. And I felt bad for her. I didn't, I, I didn't want to make her feel that, but I just wanted to make a little joke. And, That's why um, I said it in front of the room, in I front of everybody. Hey, a nice news skirt and everybody in the newsroom. Because everybody saw how inappropriate she dresses. She used to dress. And everybody saw it. But she got the job, right? She was supposed to be there. And uh, so that's why it got such a huge laugh and she was so humiliated. So I felt bad for her. So the next day I wrote her a card saying, hey, I'm sorry, I won't do that again. That was inappropriate. You don't have to worry about that happening again. I won't comment on your clothes anymore. I should have said no matter how fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you mean you'll stop commenting on her thong? On her thong <laughs> that I could see. Max, where, where would you like to take the conversation? <laughs> yeah, I know my camera. Give me a second. That's better. I mean, come on. This shit not distressing, homie. This shit not painful, homie. This shit not... Like, oh, I showed remorse. You clearly don't. You clearly don't. And it's like, it's amazing that you think that you do. So you rag on her again, live on your show. And we're supposed to think that's okay. That's how you are. That's what you do. I mean, come on.